Good morning and uh, welcome to OMA Society Design Talks. OMA Society is a collective of brands such as Bravo, Mesa Valentina and Rock Society that aims to give a complete solution to everyone willing to create unique interiors within the modern contemporary style. It will soon be presented as a marketplace with a wide range of products that can also be combined to design outstanding interiors. We also believe that talking, discussing and exploring ideas is, together is essential to the design process. More than having a marketplace, our goal is to create a platform with a new vision of micro and micro trends within this industry, generating added value for design lover community. Design talks includes then interviews with leading architects, interior designers and showrooms to discover and discuss about what's trending and the whole creative process of any project. I am Susanna Ramos and I am honored to welcome our guest uh, of OMA Society Design Talks, Mr. Kekin Shang. Mr. Pekin Shan is responsible for C. Bogilal West End, located, located in Mumbai, uh, and has been collaborating for some time with one of our brands, Mesa Valentina, that is present in the showroom. So, uh, good morning, good afternoon in India, Mr. Kekin. Thank you so much for being here. Um, uh, so, uh, thank you. I'll start with the questions. Uh, according to your website, C. Bogilal was founded in 1914. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about this more than 100 years of history and uh, how did you get to be the pioneer uh, in supply of high-end bathroom products in the country? So, uh, hi guys, my name is Kekin Shah from C. Bogida West End Group. Uh, yes, we are a 108-year-old uh, firm. Uh, I am the fourth generation in the business. Mm -hmm. We started a small showroom in the south side of Mumbai. And uh, uh, trading in mostly tiles and uh, uh, and bathroom accessories from England and Italy, and uh, slowly um, we started doing some artifacts from Italy, and selling mm -hmm. in uh, to the Maharajas and uh, and you know, the royal families of India. We expanded over the years and uh, started doing screen printing on tiles in the 80s and the 90s. That was our pioneer business. We were more of a tile company more than a sanitary ware and deposit company. Mm -hmm. Over the period of 1998, uh, imports were allowed in our country in a big way. And uh, you know, we tried to work with many companies. Uh, we did a good job, but over 2010-11, I realized that uh, the world is getting smaller with the internet. And uh, mm -hmm. with the you can um, get any product in the world. A lot of Indian MNCs who are getting into big format retail in the bathroom industry and the interior industry. And I said, you know, my company, which is by then more than 80 years old, will get lost. So I we went up the value chain and started doing niche luxury bathroom faucets, fittings, wall and floor finishes. And over a period of time, for the last 10 years, we have been pioneers. We were leaders in our city in Mumbai. We expanded to Delhi and Bangalore. And I believe so, we are leaders in our uh, business. We have a great principle that we are not a product company. We are more of a service company. We have mm -hmm. great infrastructure and post installation. And we have great teams doing the, uh, you know, helping clients. Uh, uh, do the installation in the bathrooms and the wall finishes. Uh, you know, we understood also that there is a great niche, India being a developing country, great niche and extraordinary growth with h and in the niche bathroom industry. So we focus and diversify into the niche fittings. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so fourth generation, that's incredible. You are indeed part of the of history in your city and in this industry uh, in, in India. Uh, so that question of the niche, uh, it was why you decided to focus your services and products on the bathroom space, right? Because you understood that it was really something looked for and probably there was not enough offer of qual or quality offer in, uh, in your area. So oh, see, we have been a traditional family business. We said mm -hmm. uh, we in the 90s to diversify into kitchens but mm -hmm. you know uh, did well but we said this is not our focus let's just mm -hmm. stay with our focus we were 
as a city in the 80s and 90s, and now we are all the leaders in the country. So we keep kept our focus in the bathroom business. We didn't want to diversify into many other things and lose our focus. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, so, from what I know, uh, Cipo Gilal has been cooperating with Maison Valentina since uh, 2015, being one of our oldest and uh, most li uh, loyal clients. Why the choice of this brand to complement your company's offer? So, you know, we uh, looking at the companies in the 90s and 2000s, we saw that uh, one of the luxury boutique company was Mesa Valentino. They had mm -hmm. great friendship, great quality, great finish, and uh, fantastic communication with the team. You know, from uh, that's that's what we decided. Let's work with this company, and we love the design. And we mm -hmm. started we are working with each other for the last six years, and we are very very happy. Mm -hmm. We are very happy to cooperate with you as well. Uh, as I said, we are thankful for for your trust in our brand, and we hope that there there is more to to grow from now on. Now on. So, is there any? Uh, sorry, please please. Of course. Mm -hmm. we, will come, we will cooperate for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. Is there any particular uh, product from Maison Valentina or uh, any other of the, the, the brands that we work on with the Omega Society that you consider that is your favorite or that is a best seller in the showroom? No. It's difficult to define a single product or single best composite of Maison Valentina. But if you ask for a single one, I think Koi is my favorite. The Koi is uh, uh, truly mm -hmm. a and the design is brilliant. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, it's one of our best sellers indeed and is inspired in the design of one of our sister brands that is Bravo. And uh, we also have the, the tables, the dining tables and the consoles. Uh, so yes, uh, most, people, uh, most people agree that is indeed an exquisite design uh, that, that you see in Koi. Um, your company have worked on some great projects. Um, what have been some of your personal highlights so far? So, uh, being an old company and focused on uh, client relationships and uh, working with at least 60% of the top 500 H&Is of our country. Uh, not si a single client I can specify, but I remember about two years back uh, doing um, one of the top Bollywood actors house. Uh, he was mm -hmm. so on. He used the, all his four bathrooms with, you know, all the all the consoles, all the showering, all the basins of Maison, and that was a brilliant project. I really enjoyed working there. Mm -hmm. um, and what are you working on at the moment? From what we know, uh, you will be opening a new showroom in New Delhi very soon. Yes. So I think we should start a New Delhi showroom by June 2021. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, the interior has started. I think we should order Mesa Valentino products uh, within the next uh, couple of months. And uh, as soon as we deliver, we'll be ready. Mm -hmm. We're excited to work in the Delhi market. Uh, it's a you know larger market because uh, bigger homes and there are more uh, bigger spenders than the western part of India. That's the northern part of India. And mm -hmm. uh, quite excited to work with Mesa there. Okay. And why did you choose New Delhi? Um, to expand your business, any particular reason? So, as I said, uh, Delhi is uh, the, I think, one of the biggest markets in, if you take geographically India, the northern part mm -hmm. of India, and mm -hmm. Delhi covers the the most of north and northeast of India. There, it's a very very large market. Uh, uh, you know, a lot of super H and lot of industry there, a lot of industrialists there. And uh, uh, people reach out from these smaller towns to come to Delhi to shop. And um, people, it's it's a quite a distance, about two hours by flight from Mumbai. So people mm -hmm. from India won't, don't travel to Mumbai. So the western part of India covers uh, all the cities are covered by Mumbai. The northern part of India is covered by Delhi. Mm -hmm. So we thought expanding in Delhi, and uh, I hope it's a good success. Yes, we hope so too. Uh, so it was very strategic decision um, to make sure that all market is covered. 
Besides India, do you have uh, any other international clients that go to Cebo Hilal to uh, buy your products or services? So, uh, we have uh, a lot of Indians uh, staying in Dubai, a lot of mm -hmm. Indians staying in Africa. So, we have uh, every year a few of them come and shop in India. We ask them why India when we have 20% uh, import duties. And they mm -hmm. said, you know, the offering and the kind of service available in India and the hard working uh, staff, you don't get them in uh, various parts of Africa and uh, in Dubai. So, yes, we have uh, uh, at least 8 to 10 clients coming every year from these countries. Mm -hmm. That's great. That's great. Um, do you have any favorite current trend that has been around the interior design world? Something that you really like about bathroom design or um, other spaces? I personally think that some little classic is coming back. You know, mm -hmm. uh, we had a 10 years of contemporary and some minimalist interiors. And I think classic is coming back if people want to see some more rich luxury colors like gold and silvers. Mm -hmm. I think in the so you have golds and silvers because now with the PVD technology in the faucets, you have mm -hmm. uh, guarantees of 10 to 15 years of uh, faucets without being scratched. So people are getting back into colors in faucets and in sanitary. And that's very exciting. You know, instead of having some dull whites and some dull chromes mm -hmm. coming in, and that's, that's more exciting time for us. Yes. And for Mesa Latina as well, we have lots of golden and even silver uh, to complement that kind of bathrooms, indeed. Um, do you believe there is any fundamental difference in design process or uh, favorite interior design style and taste between Europe and India? So what I see in Europe, when I work with a lot of European designers and designers from Singapore doing uh, clients' houses in India, they have a very, very uh, systematic style of working where everything is pre-designed, pre-ordered with the styling, including bathroom cabinets, including faucets, including shower enclosures. Everything is pre-designed, uh, you know, uh, pieces. In India, uh, is that we have almost 90% of the products, quite 90% of the stuff being customized, including mm -hmm. the including the bathroom, um, uh, you know, shower enclosures and uh, uh, the flooring, everything is customized. So because uh, India has very skilled and not so expensive labor and we have, uh, so we can do customized products very quickly and uh, mm -hmm. uh, not so, ex so expensive. Like if you do a similar thing in Italy or in uh, Portugal, it'll cost you five times the price in India. So that's customization is the key of uh, mm -hmm. doing. Okay. Yes, it makes sense because with customization you can adapt much more to to people's taste, to your clients' taste, and if you have that option, uh, that's good that people take uh, take advantage of it, uh, just to complement their styles better. Um, so in the last few days, Cebo Bilal West End was part of the renowned India Design uh, 2021. How did it go? Um, what are your thoughts about the event, even if it's online? So, uh, you know, I was pretty skeptical being online, but I saw the response. There were at least uh, 15,000 architects and designers uh, logging in, and mm -hmm. we had thousands of clients logging in. So it was very exciting and, uh, you know, uh, first, we, we were not too sure of taking part. We took part in the last uh, few weeks, and uh, we signed up and did all our, uh, you know, uh, shoots and interviews, mm -hmm. and it became a super success. And uh, but I still want an exhibition and trade fest to be in person. I, mm -hmm. you know, I can feel and people coming and talking and talking with them. That's 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 what I enjoy. Mm -hmm. Yes, totally. But most designers were there from India or from uh, from other countries as well. A lot of designs from Europe and Asia too. You know, a lot of interviews with designers from Europe and Asia, which was very exciting mm -hmm. for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, what is your design motto and philosophy? Could you describe it to us? If there's something that you really uh, like 
uh, to put in your work and you believe that makes a difference? Uh, you know, my motto with all my customers, though I'm a retailer, is saying I'm not in the details. I'm not in the product space. I'm the service space. I tell, I drive all my uh, sales people and my uh, uh, after sales people, telling that we are not, we are in a service space. So give them the best service possible. That's mm -hmm. the only reason it's the competition and stay ahead of the race. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I think that that's what makes the difference: the service, not the products. Okay, okay well, Mr. K. I'm sorry. Product can be available to anybody from anywhere. The service yes. is something which is, uh, you know, if you have a great service company, you will stay on for generations more. Yes, like Sibo Bilal has showed us, for generations and probably for more to come. We hope so. so thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Kekin. Um, we hope to hear from you again uh, as soon as you have more information about uh, the opening on your sh of your showroom in New Delhi. Please tell us. We'll be uh, glad to to uh, share it in our social networks, in our blogs, uh, just to make sure that everyone knows about it. Oh, we'll send you pictures from the Bombay and then show. Mm -hmm. Okay. So thank you very much. Thank you for being here and being one of our guests in uh, Home and Society Design Talks. Um, thank you.